Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Welcome back in science class How are you boys and girls? Good? Okay, Alhamdulillah Before we start our meeting, let me remind you what we had learned on the last meeting On the previous meeting, we had learned that matter can exist in three different states Do you remember about this? Yes. Solid, liquid, and gas And the big idea for today, we have the big question for today is Can matter change in states? For example, from solid to liquid, and then from liquid to gas, and then from gas to liquid, from liquid to solid, you can like that. Okay, let's start it. First, what happens when we leave an ice cube like this in warm room or warm temperature? Temperature, yes. This ice cube we leave in here, we put in here. Yes, the after sometimes. The ice cube changes into liquid. You can see it, right? So when ice is placed in a warm room or warm temperature, it gets heat from warm surrounding. And when its temperature reaches zero degrees Celsius, it start to melt and change into liquid. So you can see it. When a solid changes into liquid, the process is called melting. And the temperature at which a solid melts is called melting point. For example, here the melting point of ice is zero degrees Celsius. Okay, you got it. Okay, and there is question: Do all solid have same melting point? And To answer this question, there is an experiment. You can see the experiment. Mr. Eko has recorded the experiment in here. And this is the experiment. A place an ice cube, ice cube, a square or of chocolate, a cube of margarine, margarine in a pan. Okay, they have almost same size of volume. Okay, can you predict after this discovery, Mr. Eko will hit? Okay. Can you predict which substance you think will melt first when I hit it? Uh, ice, chocolate, or margarine? Okay, Mr. Gobel, start. Okay, you can see it. Okay. So, ice melt first, then margarine, and then chocolate. So, from this experiment, we can learn that Different types of matter take different length of time to melt, or they have different melting point. So when a liquid changes into a solid, the process is called freezing. It is the reverse of melting. Gas 
what we call steam or water vapor or wafai. So actually there are a lot of water vapor, water vapor in here. Now here, you can see this is water vapor. So when liquid water is heated and the temperature reaches 100 degrees Celsius, it starts to boil and change into steam or water vapor. And the process is called boiling. And the temperature at which a liquid boil is called its boiling point. And for example, in here the boiling point of water is 100 degrees Celsius. You can see it. We try to measure. boiling water in here and then mister will put pot lid in here okay see okay after some times and you can see it there are a lot of water droplet in here see where do this water droplet come from so when water boils, it changes into steam or water vapor, right? And the pot lid has lower temperature than the water vapor. So the water vapor cools and changes back into liquid water. And this process is called condensation. So today we have learned about changing states in matter, melting, freezing, boiling, and condensation. Okay, you got it? You understand about this? I'm sure you can understand about this. Okay, that's all for today. There is live worksheet for, for you after this. Do the live worksheet. That's all for today. Thank you. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.